Hi everyone, welcome to this space. In case you're new here, I'm Kariki Clements and on this channel I do interior design and lifestyle videos. Please subscribe, like and share this video and if you have anything to say about the video, please comment down below. I'll highly appreciate. Today I'll be sharing with you six living room must-haves. Yeah, and I have a list of these things and this doesn't mean that you go buying everything that's in the list. Always remember interior design are a set of guidelines set aside to make our living spaces functional and aesthetically pleasing. So pick whatever works for you and leave the rest. Function of the room. Before undertaking any design process in that space, you need to understand the function of the space that you are working on. You need to know the best furniture that you would suit your space and how best you can achieve this. We all know we get to spend so much time in the living room since this is a space where we invite our guests and we tend to spend most of our time with our family members. So you need to make sure the living space is cozy, welcoming and inviting. You need to have a conversation area in a living space. And how do you achieve a conversation area? A conversation area is achieved by placing your furniture or your couch or your seats facing towards each other and close together so that whenever you are having a conversation, whenever you are interacting in the room, everyone feels comfortable and invited in the space. And always make sure that the, your largest furniture pieces faces the entryway. Something living. A living room needs something living in the space. And what's something living? We all need live plants in the room. Live plants brings a luxurious, subtleness, calmness, and uh, a happier feeling in the room. And the best plants to place in a living room are indoor plants. And the succulent family would, I, would be ideal for a living room like this plant just next to me. It does not require a lot of maintenance. It does not require much of your time. You just water it like I water mine in two, once in two weeks and it's good to go. If you are not a good plant parent, this succulent family would be ideal for you. Living plants helps in popping color in your house, making it look aesthetically pleasing. Comfortable rug. Having the right material and a good size for your space helps in making your living room relaxed and comfortable. Make sure when you're purchasing your curtain, you consider the material, the texture, the patterns, and the color of the space that you, you want to place it on so that you can buy something that feels harmonious with your space. Make sure you buy the right size for your area. Make sure you take the measurements of the area you, wanna, you want to place the, the rug before purchasing it so that you avoid having a smaller rug for your space. A comfortable rug helps to make a living room feel relaxed and comfortable. A coffee table. A coffee table with the right size, with the right texture, with the right shape, with the correct material helps in bringing the furniture pieces together, also bringing it functionality because whenever you, you're in a living space, you need somewhere to place something that you, you are using, probably a book, probably your phone, a, a glass of water, and a coffee table is ideal for that. A coffee table helps in bringing balance in the space and also helps in tying furniture pieces together, making the room feel complete. You can also mix match coffee tables in your living space through different styles, different colors, different textures to complement a composition. Something personal. You should have something that's meaningful to you and your family members. These things can be accessories, they can be souvenirs, they can be art pieces that only you and your family have an attachment of. These are things that someone else should not be able to purchase in the stores. They help in defining your space and bringing a personalized feeling in your space, making it unique from other living rooms. Curtain gives a room character. They introduce textures, patterns, and a pop of color in your space, depending on the curtain that you choose. When you're going for a curtain, make sure you also measure where you measure the length and the size of your window to avoid having petticoat curtains. And also make sure that they go way up when you're placing them to give, to give a large and a flow and a flowy feeling and to your window. And also it also makes your space feel large and cozy. Picking curtains with solid colors and minimal patterns helps in making your living space and your space feel elegant and gives a luxurious feeling.
focal point. A focal point is a necessity in every space and more so the living space since it's a singular space that the eyes draws to first whenever someone gets into a space. It helps in bringing things together, preventing things from feeling chaotic and wandering around. The main focal point in a living space, this would be the TV area, your fireplace area, or if you have a very huge window in your living space. Pillows. Pillows or throw pillows helps in bringing in different textures, patterns, and introduces new shapes in your living space. You can always go with a different color of your pillows to bring, to bring in a pop of color in your space through introducing different shapes, textures, and sizes. The good thing about pillows or throw pillows is that you can change them with seasons. You only need to change the throw covers for the season. Therefore, it tends to be a budget friendly and helps in making and maintaining your space since you don't get to buy them every now and then, depending on the season. Other things that you need in your living space are accessories. These are things like, like mirrors, we have vases, we have throw blankets, candles, and vases. You can use these things to complement your living room through using different textures, different shapes, different colors to bring harmony and balance in your space. If you've watched this video to this far, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share the, this video. And if you can, leave a comment down below so that I can also get to know how you decorate or you style your living spaces. And if you have something that you can correct me, there's always room for correction. And until the next one, guys, bye!